what's up guys all right so just here getting some gas and we're gonna run to summit today get a few parts for the 351 um, thinking about grabbing a stud kit and maybe a few gaskets water pump uh, we'll see uh, see what they got I'm pretty much just gonna look around so that's what we're gonna do today uh, we're over to summit it's about 30 minute drive for them from where I am so let's do this Alright guys, so made it home and this is what I picked up from Summit. Gonna stud the heads, so I picked up some ARP uh, bolts and studs. These were about 160 bucks. Pretty good price for for some studs. Since we're gonna be pushing in quite a bit of power out of this motor. Uh, I suggest studying the heads. Then I picked up a new water pump, and I believe this is the same one Mike just picked up. If you watch his channel, I like the way it looked when he uh, when he put it on his motor. And I kind of just looked over just a little bit. Try to turn the camera on. If I can get it out, the plastic here. All right, got it out of the plastic, and so far it looks like a pretty nice piece. It's really smooth. Uh, looks pretty good. Can't really tell from the camera, but it looks pretty good down there. There's no castings or anywhere. Everything's pretty smooth on it. And those will be capped off. It says I'm not running a heater, but this is supposed to be like a high volume uh, water pump. So hopefully it'll help keep the motor nice and cool. Well, it looks pretty nice, so it's not real heavy either. I've already looked up reviews on it. It's got good reviews, so. It looks good. And it also comes with the new gasket. Pretty much every water pump does. Uh, I got the motor sitting here. Hadn't really done anything else with it. It's been it's about a week later. Um, not a really 100% half with the machine shop that did the work on this block. Um, mainly because of the pistons. I wanted forged pistons in it. Uh, I thought I made it very clear to them. They installed some hypers in it instead. So, they're not going to do anything for me. And the uh, only way I'm going to get some forged pistons in is unless I go down and spend $400 for a set of Speed Pros. They offer to put them in for free. But, there's a lot of guys running these motors with the stock cast pistons in them. And having good luck. Then we're just gonna go ahead and run them and uh, hope for the best. I also thought about running EA5 in it. That's the deal on that. Y'all probably saw the post I left on Facebook, well, mainly on the group page. 
So that's the deal with that. So I'm just going to go ahead and just go with it. Really don't want to deal with that shop anymore. But other than that, here, probably in a couple weeks, I'm going to get this garage cleaned up. Taking the car out for one last meet. Possibility, maybe one more. Uh, there's a mega meet here soon uh, with the North Texas Fox Body Club. Not sure yet. Ready to get started on this car. Well, motor wise. So, uh, another reason why I'm going to work on it is uh, fixing the rust spots on it. It's nothing bad, they're very minor but need to get them taken care of for they get worse but yeah that's what I went to summit for today to pick up some studs I could just order them online but need to get out of the house and uh, it's not that far a drive it's only 30 minutes each way so that's what I picked up today water pump and studs so just need to pick up some gaskets uh, still need to find a cam I haven't decided on a cam yet, so. Uh, I know the idea is to do a custom cam, but budget build, I'm not looking to spend $350, $400 for a cam. So, this is it on today's video, and until uh, next time, guys, I'll see y'all later.